this is probably a been a long day for the guys that uh, have been here for two days already. So uh, I'm actually going to try something out uh, different. I, I do have a presentation that I put together, but um, I figured uh, give you guys another option to say, you know, scrap the presentation and just do an extended Q&A on anything. So uh, I'll leave it up to you guys all in hands for wanting the presentation. One, two, three, four. All right, Q&A. What's that? Uh, I'll give you guys the presentation. It's basically a lot of information. I guess I, guess I could go through it really quickly. But, uh, okay, so this is this kind of just tells you a lot of data. I mean, obviously, online advertising is continuing to grow. It will continue to grow. It's outpaced all, all of traditional advertising. And uh, in 2011, just in the U.S., it will be a $25 billion industry. And it's really pushing away from all of the mediums. And the fact that uh, you look at India, uh, you know, India is probably not obviously that big yet in online advertising. It's roughly a $200 million market, <clears throat> but it's really taking away from other forms. And the, that's, that's one of the major trends right there. It's roughly going to be a $40 billion industry, so double-digit growth. So if you think about it, it already is a very big industry in America. And it's already going to be even almost double to where it, what, what it is going to be this year in 2015, which basically tells you that the market's still growing and the appetite for our online advertising and better online advertising is going to continue to be there. This is a, a data segment that basically is very interesting, and it actually speaks very well for my third company, Radium One. This diagram basically says that if you are going to go ahead and buy advertising, what type of advertising in data works the best? And if you think about it, the biggest internet company today so far is Google. And that's a $200 billion advertising company. And it's basically based on the Internet Advertiser Bureau in the US, classified as the second tier of valuable data. The most important tier is social. And right now, the main company that is operating there is Facebook. Facebook has allowed the ability to use word of mouth as a mechanism of the platform to go ahead and create a valuable use for 600 million people, but on top of that, let advertisers advertise in the, in, within that platform. We're also trying to do that through the social graph, through Radium One. So uh, this is a clear indication that the market's going to continue to grow. Ideas around social and advertising are the biggest appetite sources for the people that have money that want to spend money on the internet. Uh, if you look at in internet users across the globe, uh, more importantly in, the U uh, in India specifically, this is what Indians do on the internet today. And as the internet market for has continued to grow, it's largely email, downloading music, social networking has become a big thing. A lot of the same mega trends that initially started the trends in America 12 years ago are now hitting India. So another great indicator that if history repeats itself, the same opportunities lie now in this market. And while India is the second largest population, right, it's the fourth largest population for users, now has 81 million users. But now if you look at the mobile device, if you look at how many handheld phones there are, if you look at how much Facebook alone has grown in India, uh, this number is going to quickly outpace Japan, and India really has an opportunity to be uh, the, the third largest internet market in, within the next 12 months. And one of the main indications is the fact that it's the young population that's actually driving this growth. So people that are in college, people that are actually uh, uh, predominantly also young men, those are basically the demographics that are actually fueling this growth in India. And which is great because this is going to be that, this is going to predominantly be that new generation that now advertisers will be able to connect with outside of TV, outside of radio, outside of print, outside of the traditional ways India has captured its messages across over a billion people. Just looking at Facebook alone, uh, you know, I know initially Orkut was a big thing in India, and uh, now Facebook is predominantly the biggest platform. And if you just look at this growth, within one year, the amount of 
uh, growth that's just been on Facebook alone, 20 million active users that check their accounts daily. And out of a population of 80 million, that's roughly a 25% penetration in, uh, in size. So this is alone another indicator that the, the timing, the market, the, the sense for this, uh, for this market is, is coming closer. And if you look at the kind of the evolution of the internet, at least in the ad market that I've seen it within the last uh, 12 years, it started off with the CPM model, became the CPC model, and then eventually became the CPA model. That's been the evolution of, of online advertising. And then came along the lithiums of the world, behavioral advertising, basically saying, instead of showing all ads to the same people, uh, because they went to a website, let's show ads to people based on who they are and what they've done on the internet. So if somebody is on uh, reddit.com uh, or reddit.com and they happen to have uh, a curiosity to extreme sports and another one has a curiosity to traveling, both of them in the same page will get two different types of ads. And that was the big trend six years ago and what Blue Lithium took on. Now, it's all about social. And this being that epicenter, this being that trend of saying, how do you find new customers that look like yours across this social graph? And that itself, now, if you just look at all the, 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 the press and the news and all that stuff that's going on, uh, you know, Facebook is you know, the biggest threat to Google because Google doesn't have this social strategy, and Facebook does. And it's predominantly challenging those ad dollar budgets, maybe creating new ones as well. But that's that's the uh, that's what I do Monday to Friday or Monday to Sunday. So trying to go ahead and solve this this area because there's not that many people that have solved it. There's not that many people that have productized it. But this is where I see the biggest opportunities, at least from um, you know from the evolution of online advertising continuing to to happen. Thank you.